Hello, my name is Sarah Luderman, and I'm part of the communications team at AECD. I'm here to help explain how to participate in a Twitter chat. Twitter chats are an important tool to discuss professional topics of interest with a wider audience and to raise awareness of your network using social media. First, in order to participate in a Twitter chat, you'll need to make a Twitter account. To do this, go to www.twitter.com. Then, click on the button Sign Up and follow the instructions that Twitter gives you in order to complete creating your account. If you already have an account, you will need to log into Twitter to participate in Twitter chat. Once you create your account, you're able to do things to personalize it. For example, adding a profile picture, adding a header, adding a short bio, and adding whatever name you'd like. You don't have to use your actual name. However, if you're planning on using the Twitter account for professional reasons, I strongly recommend using your real name so that your colleagues can find you more easily. A Twitter chat is a public conversation around one unique hashtag. That's this thing with the pound sign next to it. Hashtags allow you to follow a specific discussion and participate in it. Twitter chats are usually recurring and on specific topics to, regular, to regularly connect people with these interests. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will be using the hashtag example chat. Example chat was designed by Ruti Reagan as a Twitter teaching tool. There are two different ways to participate in Twitter chat, through your computer and through your smartphone. This demonstration is going to be for the computer. You can use similar steps to participate on a smartphone. If you click on example chat in someone's tweet or search example chat in the search bar, you will see tweets that others have tagged example chat. By default, Twitter only shows you some of the tweets in order of popularity under the top tab. This makes the conversation hard to follow as the tweets won't be sequential. If you click on the tab latest, you'll be able to see, you will be able to see every tweet using a particular hashtag in order of appearance. Newer tweets will appear at the top. And older tweets will appear at the bottom. If the chat doesn't seem to make sense, or you feel like you're missing something, you might be looking at the top tweets tab instead of the latest tweets tab. Sometimes tweets don't show up right away in the Twitter chat, or there may be other problems. This is somewhat unpredictable. It might help to check your internet connection if new tweets aren't appearing at all, or to switch devices, for example, if you're on your computer to switch to your phone, or if you're on your phone to switch to your computer. Twitter chats usually start with some introductory tweets explaining the hashtag and welcoming participants. So, for example, welcome to example chat, an example hashtag for explaining Twitter chats. Twitter chats usually follow a particular format in order to make the conversation easier to follow. They also usually have a moderator. The moderator asks questions and participants answer. The questions the moderator asks begin with Q0, Q1, Q2, etc. Usually there are four or five questions. When participants answer, they begin their tweets with A0, A1, A2, etc. to show which question they are responding that they are responding to specifically. The Q0 in a chat is usually used to ask participants to introduce themselves. So for example, Q0, introduce yourself. Tell us something about your interest in example chat. A0, I'm Ruti. I'm using example chat to make instructions for participating in hashtag chats on Twitter. After the Q0 introduction question, the rest of the questions are about the topic of the chat. All answers should begin with the corresponding question number, A0, A1, A2, etc. 
answers should also contain the chat's hashtags so that people can find them. It doesn't matter where in the tweet example chat goes. So for example, here it's in the middle of the tweet, here it's at the end of the tweet. Both will show up under example chat when searched. Generally, people put the hashtag at the end of a tweet, but there's no requirement to do so. As long as it's there, it'll show up in the tag. Sometimes questions or answers are complex. In order to answer a question or ask a question that can't necessarily be summed up in a single tweet, you can number them. Here's an example, Q4, which is numbered one out of three, two out of three, or three out of three. So, these, so this, this way questions can introduce information that will take more than one tweet to cover. The tweets can be split up into different numbered parts called threads. So all of these three parts together are called a thread. In addition to the replying to the question itself, you can reply to what other participants say. So for example, we have one participant saying, I'm saying something about the fourth question, and Rufi responds, here's my reply to the point you made. The tweet starts with A4 to indicate the context and the question that's being responded to, and includes the particular person who's being responded to in order to specify that it's a specific response and not a response to the question in general. Participants can continue to respond in kind if they so choose. It's okay to come to chats late. It's okay to tweet answers to a previous question, even if, you're just, even if the discussion has moved on, because Twitter chats are asynchronous. That means that people respond at different times and at different speeds. It won't mean you're interrupting. At the end of the chat, the moderator lets people know that they're wrapping up and announces the date and time of the next chat when applicable. They might also share the next topic. So for example, the next example chat will be held on date and time in time zone. If you have additional questions about how Twitter chats work, or if you'd like to see, or, or that you'd like to see addressed in example chat, you can contact the moderator. Thank you, this has been an overview of how to participate in a Twitter chat. If you have any questions or comments or would like extra assistance in learning how to participate in a Twitter chat, please don't hesitate to contact me at S. Luterman at AUCD.org. That's S L U T E R M A N at AUCD.org. I look forward to hearing from you and for and participating with you in future AUCD Twitter chats.